I pray for him, oh, Mama. The way he came is going on with that girl. They will bring back his corpse to this house one day. No, God forbid. God forbid what? What is it? It is true. Eh? Look at what is happening to him now. His business has crumbled. Look, Mama. They're feeding from hand to mouth. Since that girl moved in, Ikem has completely changed. He is no more himself. Serves him right. Ikem deserves all that is happening to him. Because of that mannerless girl from Motiba clan. He came threw us out of his house. We shall see how he will end up because I know one day he will come back crawling. And I, Obinike, will laugh at him. Walk on you, walk on you. Omo de jirigo. Your brother is a very stubborn man. But Igudu, the last time I came here, you said once his business starts crumbling, he will send his wife back in. His stubbornness is what is making him stay with his wife, despite everything. So what are we going to do? My daughter, Igudu is your servant. Tell me what your heart desires. Rosemary called me a barren woman. Hmm. Igudu, close her womb. Plant a seed of discord between them. My brother will send her packing. Is that all you want from Igudu? Yes. <laughs> then consider it done. There is nothing wrong with either of you, as far as medical science is concerned. Oftentimes, these things go beyond medical science. Personally, I will advise the only thing we can do right now is to pray. And in time, we shall be conceived. Somewhere. I put it up for sale. You did? I thought you said you wanted to take it to the village. What's the point? I can't maintain it, so it's better for me to put it up for sale, raise some money and reinvest in my business. to your car. <laughs> I, I sold it, Mama. <laughs> you sold it. This is just the beginning.
him. Should I serve your food though? I'm talking to you. Did I tell you I was hungry? Eh? Did I tell you I was hungry? What did I do wrong? Look, stop this whining and pestering. I can't take any more of it. I can't. Why are you shouting at me? I only asked if I should serve your food. I don't want anything to eat. Is that enough for you? to start since he came back from the village. I'm suddenly living with a with a stranger. Pull yourself together. It's all right. Pull yourself together. I'm so confused. Things have been very rough. even think about that. It is not your portion in Jesus' name. Look, whatever the problem is, our God will take control. Okay? Bruce, there is nothing prayer can do. you. All we need to do is take it to God. Bruce, whenever you have time, come. Let me take you to see my pastor. I believe that with God all things are possible. Hmm? to see a pastor. So those who go to see their pastors walk into their husband's houses at this time of the night? Maybe you should turn around and go back to your pastor's house. Ikem, I'm really sorry. But please, I don't want any troubles this night. Please. Look! <gasps> Next time you walk out of this house without my permission and come back this late, you will pack your things and leave. You're the cause of all the problems in this house. <laughs>
What is it? What happened? There was no food in this house today. And we are about to go to bed on an empty stomach. Hmm. Your father's health is not improving. And there is no money to take him to the hospital. I suggest you go to Lagos and see your brother. Are you asking me to go and beg him after he threw us out of the house? It's not like that. No matter what may have happened, he is your brother. And we cannot continue like this, or else we'll all die of starvation soon. and oversees everything. I make this simple prayer to you. Whoever that is responsible for the confusion and misfortune in my family, let the person be exposed soon. Let the person not have a good end. This I ask in the name of the Almighty God, our Lord. Amen. Father, I didn't do anything wrong by agreeing to marry this man. You have seen all that I have suffered and gone through in this house. If I am thrown out of this house today, Lord, where is your justice? How do I stand up to all the people that mock you? Lord, I love this man, and all I want is to make him happy. Make our happiness complete, Lord. Bless us with a child, and restore my husband's business. Father, remove that anger that spirit of anger that has taken possession of his heart and give him peace. Peace that passes all understanding. This is the result of the test. Congratulations.
You won't come home. When I come in. Uh-uh, into your own house. How is Mama, Papa and Nancy now? They're all right. The girl is not back here. No, these days he's so busy. He closes late. Ah, he must be very tired. Why don't you go in and change? Let me get you some warm water to have a bath. Say so she come home quickly. <coughs> this is my body, and I know how I feel. I don't have much longer to stay here, but. It would not be good to go without settling the problems of this family. Uh, my son, Papa. I know that we have wronged you in many ways. But I also know that you are a man with God on his side. In every way that we have wronged you, please forgive us. Eh? Papa, it's uh, okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, my daughter Rosemary, uh, it is ignorance that made the rat challenge the cat to a wrestling contest. Uh, <coughs> you must forgive us. You are welcome as a member of this family. Uh, and may God bless you. Amen. My daughter, I hope you will find it in your heart to forgive us. There's nothing to forgive, Mama. I have never had anything against you or anybody. <coughs> I want to admonish all of you to live together in peace and harmony. You are all fruits of the same womb. The outsider or whoever it may be, that will sow discord and confusion amongst you. May confusion follow him always. Amen. Amen. He that will put a stumbling block on the path of your progress, may his soul set at noonday. Amen. They will be decayed. Now that things are like this, I think we should start thinking about reopening the shop at Alaba. Mm. What for? Ah, you can... What for? I don't understand you. Why do you want to reopen the shop? Or did I tell you I want to go back to that madness? Okay, what do you want to do? You cannot come back to Lagos and just sit at home eating food. <laughs> Ikem, if you want to open a shop, open one near your house. If not, forget it. Because I can't be begging you for anything. Uh -huh. You have to start thinking about Machi because she has to come back to Lagos too.
What is good about this woman? Ah, but are we quarreling? Ah, stop asking me silly questions. Why is there no breakfast in this house? But I'm just waking up now. Is this the time other women wake up from their husband houses? My brother left this morning without eating. <laughs> I didn't hear your brother complaining. But since you are so concerned, how come you did not prepare for him? Rosemary! Hey. If you open your mouth again, I will break you into I will deal with you. I will, I will squeeze you. Who are you? Who do you think you are? Huh? Me around. Now watch your mouth! Are you mad? Be ridiculous. Rosemary is my wife. You don't hurt her in front of me. Don't ever try it again. Oh, so she has not become sacred that she can insult her elders and get away with it. Look, Rosemary, whatever they call you, if you open your mouth again and talk to me or insult me, I will deal with you squarely. Yes! Ikim. Ikim. I have had enough of all this nonsense. God knows I have tried so hard to please your family. But each time it is either one trouble or the other. Right now, it is either he leaves or I'll leave. I think you have to get ready and leave for the village. I have had enough. God knows what kind of family I have. You do everything for them. Yet they are never satisfied. I have had enough. All they want to do is wreck my home, wreck my business. God forbid. I want my peace and quiet.
his wife shedding crocodile tears when they are the same people that starved papa to death yes papa died of hunger or oh, you don't know just keep quiet we shall see we'll see what is going to happen <laughs> they starved our father to death now they are parading their baby all over town they must suffer for killing my father Ada, Ada, is it not his father also? I don't care. He has to suffer. Ada, tell me what you want from me, Budo. I want the new baby dead. That's the only thing to make them suffer. So be it. When is your father's funeral? In a fortnight. Good. Take this. As the funeral is going on, Rub this substance into your palms. Carry it. Make sure that your palms touch the naked part of the baby's body. Hmm? You may now go. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you, Gudu.
Because I want to hide, I see no longer. 